to know who you ask, they'll tell you I'm a legend. From Y.O. to the Veil to the Mongol spot on Creston. Always been a thousand, never ever been a lane. Lay a nigga down, down for these three letters on my chain. Well, shaking with it, y'all. You already know what time it is, man. This is your dog, J Hood, and all that. And you are now tuned into a brand new episode of the Tales from the Hood vlog series, man. Stop what you're doing. Go stream or download my brand new album entitled Self. Snatch up the Pesci trilogy one through three. Grab out that best of Hood flashbacks from the block. And make sure you stream or download the What If single, man. Available right now on all digital streaming platforms. All right, look, before I even get into this, the name of the song on the intro on this vlog is called Legend. You know what I'm saying? It's on the Pesci three album. So that's why I tell all y'all, like, every time I do an episode, make sure you stream or download the Pesci series, man. Grab up Pesci 3. You feel me? That legend song, which is the song on the intro of this vlog series, is on Pesci 3. So make sure you go grab that, man. This shit is hard. You dig? Anyway, let's get right into it. So on today's episode, we're going to speak about the day that uh, we had a meeting with Pharrell of the Neptunes. All right? Now check it. Let's get into it. So, um... This was after the We Are The Streets album was released. It was actually some time after. I don't, I'm not sure how many years after, but it was definitely after. It was somewhere around the time that, um, you know, these guys had uh, fulfilled their album obligations with um, Interscope. And I think they were trying to figure out their next move as far as the direction that they wanted to go in. You know what I'm saying? Like speaking on signing with someone. So um, they set up a meeting with Pharrell. It took place downtown at uh, in a hotel lobby. I'm not 100% sure which hotel it was because I can't remember. But it was in a hotel lobby. Me, Sheik, Styles, Kiss, and my old manager, you know, were present at the meeting. We walked in the building, seeing Pharrell. Pharrell was with, like, one other guy. We shook hands and all that, and, you know, the guys proceeded to, to sit down and shit like that. Now, me being in prop excuse me, prior meetings with them, I kind of know how shit goes and I know my place. So I just shook homie hand and, you know, I began to walk outside to stand in the front of the, of the hotel and shit and let them chop it up because this meeting was about, you know, the lock. So I'm like, you know, let me stand outside and shit. So I stood outside. Now me in my mind, just knowing them and knowing the type of people that they are, I'm like, I think it'd be amazing if they could, uh, if they were to be able to figure something out as far as like working together on the project. But at the same time, like I said, just me knowing them, um, knowing their unwillingness to step outside of the box sometimes because of them being in their comfort zones, I kind of knew personally that it wasn't going to happen. You know what I'm saying? This isn't like a slight or nothing like that. It's just me speaking from a realistic standpoint, just from knowing them on a personal level. You dig? So, um, like I said, me knowing that, I kind of like already knew where it was going to go or where it wasn't. But at the same time, I also thought that uh, if they were to pitch the idea of um, allowing him to um, have something to do with D-Block as far as putting his hands on the imprint of the company, that that could take us out of here and get us to the next level. I'm like, okay, someone's going to mention that to him. So if all else fails in this meeting, that's going to happen. So you know what I mean? I'm like, let me cross my fingers on that and hope that someone at least brings that up. So after like 20 minutes uh, of them speaking in the lobby, my old manager comes out and grabs me. He's like, yo, come in. They want to chop it up with you. So I go in. You know, he's like, you reintroduce me again. I'm like, yo, for real, this is Jay Hood. He's like, okay, yeah. You killing it on the mixtapes, man. Nah, nah, you fire, you know, all that shit. So, you know, regular shit that everybody else was telling me around that time. You know, we sitting down. So, um, you know, they, they continue to speak about, you know, possibly doing the collaboration with the Locks and Pharrell as far as him producing their whole album. And this is from, this is what I got. They didn't seem too thrilled about the idea of doing that. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I could read energies and read people. And from what I was reading, you know, that's what I got. So I'm like, okay, so now someone is about to suggest the idea of him producing for D-Block. It's just, it's coming. I'm waiting for it. Any second now. I'm like, yeah, any second now, somebody's going to mention it. it. never happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just 
kept speaking about the idea of him producing the locks, producing the locks, producing the locks, and them going back and forth, ping ponging ideas and shit like that. And um, they were just basically trying to figure out different scenarios that it would work. But what if this? But what if that? Or we could do it like this, or we could do it like that. Like, look, man. In my mind, I'm like, listen, if you was to pitch this to him, this is something that Puff wouldn't be able to touch because Puff name was brought up. Like, not in no, no slight, you know, no dissing or negative type of way, but it, it was, like, briefly. But I'm like, man, if it was to bring this up, he couldn't even touch this, and this would fucking shoot out there automatically. But it never was brought up, you know what I'm saying? Um, but Pharrell continued to speak about how D-Block was hard and how it was dope and how that sound would just be so crazy and how he thinks... Uh, what he can contribute can make shit, you know, excuse me, would take shit to the next level, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, that lock sound and the whole D-block sound is so crazy. He was just, he was like giving niggas they flowers and, you know what I mean, speaking about how hard just the movement was. So I'm like, I know that he would like come aboard with this shit. Someone just has to present it to him and speak about it. But like I said, it never was spoken about. But um, it was it was a dope meeting. The energy was great. He was a stand up dude. He showed love, but unfortunately, nothing took place from the meeting. Right. Um, now I just wanted to share that. Like I share everything else with you. I need you to like this video. Subscribe, comment, like the last video, like the next video. Follow your boy on Instagram, at RealJHood. You feel me? And until next time, you already know how your boy do.